So that answers that question. And by the way, if a sister is not wearing hijab or a brother doesn't have his beard, it doesn't mean they're not a believer. It doesn't mean they're not a believer and you don't know what's their situation and you still don't have a right to judge them because we've just been talking about over and over and over. Don't judge, don't prejudge, you don't know. I want to give you one example and then we're going to the questions. Suppose we're going down the street one day. I love stories, by the way. We're going down the street, you know, and we see Abdullah. Now, Abdullah is one of the more righteous brothers. He's always in the front row in the Salah every day for every Salah. And he's the first one in doing any charity or good work, the first one for this. And we're kind of like getting fed up because this guy's beating us on everything, you know. So one day we're going along, right? And across the street, there's Abdullah. We see him bending over doing something and then we look, oh my God, he's got a can of beer. <gasps> Whoa! Abdullah's got a can of beer. All right. That's it. Man. So now we go back and we start telling people, well, you know who we saw today? I mean, we don't want to talk about anybody. It's Haram and Islam, you know. We would never do that. But if anybody asks me, you know, I'd have to tell the truth, you know, because you can't lie either. So if you, if you ask me something about Abdullah, I'd tell you. Go ahead, ask me. But since you asked me, okay, yeah. We saw him with a can of beer. Yes. Right outside such and such bar. He was there. He had a can of beer. Yep. And who knows what else he might have had with him. I mean, he had a bag. It could have been a bottle of wine in the bag. And, you know, that's a rom too, you know. Could have had cigarettes in there. Probably smoking up, you know. Who knows? Probably had drugs in there. You don't know what he had going on. And the next thing you know, it's going all over the place. That Abdullah is now one of the major drug contacts in all of Kuala Lumpur, you know. And he's, <laughs> right? And this guy's um, probably got women all over the place, you know. And now you're accusing him of that. And in reality, Abdullah just got all of your good deeds and all the good deeds of all the people who said it. Plus, he got a good deed for the beer can. Why? Because he was bending over to pick it up to get it out of the road. And the Prophet ﷺ told us that it's an act of charity to remove something from the path of the believers. So he was just doing that. He was doing his civic duty to get rid of that. Oh, and the bag that he had in his hand, he had bought some candy with the last little bit of money he had. He spent it on candy to give to some of the orphan children. And you slandered him. You sure loaded him up with a lot of good deeds. Oh, and by the way, you're in deep trouble. And this is the meaning of khus. When Allah says, Wal asr inal insan alafi khusr, Khusr means to be broke on the day of judgment. You can't pay even though you had a mountain of good deeds and there's people lined up in front of you to get their rights on you for what you slandered them, you hurt their feelings, you backbite them. All of that's waiting for you.